Hello and welcome to Nepal Traveler, Travel Trade Talk. Today we are at the Yak and Yeti and we are meeting with Monica Ma'am. She's a veteran in the hospitality industry with a wide experience in Nepal. She has been here for many years, especially during the most challenging time of the COVID uh, pandemic. And she has guided the hotel and changed things. And now when tourism is ready to make a comeback, she's right at the forefront of whatever the hotel is planning to do. Welcome to our show, Monica, ma'am. Yeah, good morning. It's a pleasure being here. Ma'am, you are probably the only lady <clears throat> GM in Nepal's hospitality industry. Mm. What is the significance of that and how has your journey as a, as a woman in tourism been? Yeah, unfortunately, there are not many ladies in the uh, GM role in Nepal, which we definitely have to change. Um, that's one reason why I am here as well, um, supporting ladies. Um, my journey as a female general manager, yeah, it was not always easy. Um, I have a son, so I am a mother, I am a woman, and I remember the days back. Uh, when I was working as a director of food and beverage, I had to do much more than my male colleagues. I had to show what I, yeah, no, not only for myself, as well to the bosses. Um, because they said, oh, you are a mother, you have a child, so how will you manage your time? So I always had to show more and be working more hours, I would say, than any of my male colleagues. Because if I would have come late, they would have said, yeah, it's because she's a mother. Um, so therefore, I had to be always the first one and the last one just to prove, yes, a female can do that. Ma'am, is that a cultural thing or was that when you were working in the West as well as in Nepal? I mean, it was at that time, it's many, well, many years back, but it was in the West as well, in the Western uh, side of the world as well. Um, it's not always that we women have been in the leadership positions. Um, <clears throat> when I started my career, it was as well, there were only, only male GMs, uh, what I remember. And then it changed over the years. And now in Nepal, ma'am, yeah, you I think you're in the only GM. Uh, uh, is it getting better for women professionals in the hospitality industry in Nepal? Oh, definitely. I mean, I see. I remember when I came to Yakenyeti, um, yeah, six years back, the the female locker room was so small um, that I thought it can't be because, but it was enough. There was there were not many ladies working in in Yakenyeti or in the hospitality in general. Now you can see if you work in Yakenyeti, we have in every department, we have uh, ladies working. Um, my number two is a lady as well. So yeah, we are very, very strong with ladies here. And you see in other positions, um, high positions, director of sales and marketing, uh, executive assistant managers, you see ladies now, which I think six years back, it was not the case. So there is a big improvement as well. Consciously, as a hospitality industry, from the owners, from the top management, mm -hmm. do you think there's an environment to help women to grow, to discover, to, to come to their full potential? What needs to be done? Um, yeah, I, me as a woman, I can say that. Um, I would say we have to do the same job. I think what is important that um, we are not hiring female just to hire female but i think it's very necessary that we treat everybody the same if the woman has the same qualification as the man then it should not be that we hire a man just because he is a man um, but i see especially in the hospitality where you have a lot with people to do there is a big potential for uh, ladies um, in the current scenario we see a shortage of trained talent that is required at the mm. moment in this industry. Yeah. I mean, where do you see this in terms of more women getting a chance? Um, yeah, when we had recently the graduation of Gate College and the proportion of the female was actually almost same as male. So you can see 
women are uh, going, making their bachelor in hotel management. Um, we hire a lot of young women uh, who just graduated in various departments. And what a nice thing is, what we have done recently, even during their college time, we are hiring them. So that means they work or they go in the morning to college, they come in the afternoon working with us or opposite. Um, and I think this is a great uh, opportunity, not only for the ladies as well for the male, uh, that they can get experience before then they start really graduating and then looking in a bright future um, as a young talent. Definitely we have to do something. Too many people leaving the country, especially the young people, the bright people. Um, and I am actually very privileged that we have so many young people still working with Yakinieti who stay in the country and, and um, who want to start their career in Nepal. That was going to be my next question, ma'am. What would be your message to young people who are perhaps thinking of a career? How would you suggest hospitality, especially for young women or young people, just to keep them mm. in the country? Because on one hand, we have a shortage of manpower. We don't have enough mm. trained staff. Uh, what would your message be to young people? My message to the young people is um, Nepal is one of the most beautiful countries. Um, uh, you have one of the richest cultures any country I have worked. And um, my message is stay in the country and let's develop tourism together. Uh, we have to show the world that we are right that we are ready to receive much more tourists. And definitely we need you young people to help us, not only Yak and Yeti, the whole country, and think about it, it's your country, and um, show your pride for the country. There is no better career opportunity uh, in the Middle East or in Australia, I find. We have so many hotels now, five-star hotels, chain hotels, Yak and Yeti, um, where you really can start your career and and prove that you are the right person and that hospitality is the right profession for you and that you can be successful. I'm talking about a lot of hotels coming in. A lot of international chains, brands have entered Nepal, more mm. in the pipeline. What are your thoughts on this in terms of the industry? Oh, first of all, it's great. So because showing um, that so many hotel chains are coming, that means, okay, everybody believes in Nepal. So it's good. And it's a overall marketing. I mean, we as a single hotel, we cannot do so much marketing as we can do together, especially with the branded hotels, with chain hotels coming up uh, in the city. Definitely, it will be challenging to, to fill all these hotels who are coming. Um, but I think with quality and, and uh, with young talents, you can manage this and, and it will be a successful journey. Um, I think the, the future for Nepal is, is very bright, coming more tourists. We have seen last year, it was a very successful year after the COVID recovery um, and it will be more because Nepal is so special. Man, as a final question, Yak and Yeti, there has been a lot of changes. You've mm -hmm. used the time mm -hmm. during the COVID uh, recovery. What, what is the new things that are happening in Yak and Yeti and how do you see 2024 for Yak and Yeti? I think 2024 will be a great year for Yak and Yeti. Um, we will be a, actually a new hotel. <clears throat> we have done all the public areas. Everything got renovated, refurbished. Last year in 2023, we have um, refurbished one of our wings here, the Heritage Wing. In the moment, we are in the middle of the renovation of our new wing, which the renovation will be completed by... I would say the first rooms we will get by end of February and then um, the next half, latest end of March. 
And so we have a new hotel. We have a new hotel, um, keeping the Nepali architecture, keeping the Nepali touch, um, which is very important for us because we want to be the heritage hotel. We want to represent Nepal. If a guest walks into our lobby, we want that he knows, yes, I am in Nepal. And this is what we are, Yakenyeti, and yeah, with the renovation and everything, um, all the investment, I am really looking very much positive in the future, and especially after March when everything is ready. Thank you so much for your time, ma'am, and all the best for this year. Thank you. Thank you.